sirens and explosions heard throughout Israel as Israeli air defenses appear to be intercepting incoming Iranian strikes. Iran announcing that for the first time it launched drones and ballistic missiles towards Israeli territory in a dramatic escalation after decades of tensions between the two nations. The regime in Iran fired a massive swarm over 200 killer drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles towards the state of Israel. Earlier, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in an address to the nation saying, Our defense systems are deployed. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. U.S. officials believe Iran's attack could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. President Joe Biden cutting his weekend trip to Delaware short to head back to the White House to meet with national security officials. Despite recent disagreements over its response in Gaza, the president saying earlier this week that the U.S. stands with Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. Iran is looking to retaliate after an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria two weeks ago. Seven military officers were killed. General Frank McKenzie, former head of Central Command, says there's real concern an Iranian attack could lead to wider conflict. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. Israel has limited gatherings and is recommending its citizens to stay near safe rooms and shelters. Information about injuries is still coming in. Some reports say a 7- and 10-year-old were hurt amid the attacks. But President Biden says most of the missiles were knocked out of the sky and did not hit anything. Live in studio, Michaela Marshall for Arizona's Family. Michaela, thank you. We'll continue to track this.